So, since I'm starting this new little thing with just picking up the camera and vlogging and kind of getting in more of the lifestyle, uh, just more of my life, you know, I'm, I'm really trying to stray away from thrifting. So, going to my boy Matt's house, uh, he lives in SLS. Uh, it's a beautiful building in uh, Brickell, which is kind of like, I guess it's kind of considered downtown Miami, but amazing views, really cool vibes, and I figured, you know what, I'm gonna bring you guys along. So we're currently headed there. Luckily, with me living in South Beach, he only lives about 15 minutes away. So uh, a quick drive over the bridge. I should probably put my seatbelt on before you guys yell at me in the comments, and so it stops beeping. But uh, yeah, so it's only 15 minutes away, which I love, you know, with me living in Fort Lauderdale like I used to, it would have been 45 minutes to an hour just to come down and hang out. So it's nice to uh, be only 15 minutes away. Let's go over there, check it out. Actually, a little fun fact, Steve Will Do It uh, lives in the same building as him, and he always pulls out his Lamborghinis, Ferraris, so maybe we'll get Steve Will Do It on the vlog. Uh, I'm just putting that in fruition, you know, maybe we'll see it, maybe we won't. But uh, yeah, guys, I hope you guys enjoy this little vlog. Like I said, let's get it. So we just got to Brickle, over there's the Brickle Town Center. His building is this colorful one, straight ahead. It's funny, I went in the elevator, I was like, uh, am I supposed to click a button or do they do it? They're like, no, you're supposed to click it. I was like, oh, okay. Oh, so dude, like, yeah. I mean, on the front of the back, I was like, how am I supposed yeah. to? And she's like, just click both. Yeah, and yeah, then yeah. one of them will open. Yeah, yeah, I was like, yeah. okay. I had no idea it opens to the apartment though. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's the only unit or is there another one? Yeah, that's just like a stairwell. So that's like, fire. Like, yeah, yeah, that's but, sick. Honestly, super inconvenient. Really? I would think you would because I feel like everyone would be having a Tesla. Yeah, there's a couple people with a Tesla, but like they're pretty courteous about moving it. And we have a Tesla group chat. So. Can't wait to get fucking mine. Yeah, right. I did the same white with the black. Hell yeah. You got to get white interior, right? You got yeah. white interior? Nice. My fucking girl got black interior. No. And I was like, you're so shot. Like no. everybody that knows Tesla is like. There, it's just not like the wood grain. It just looks cheap. Yeah, the black no. looks cheap. Like, Had to come to Chick Fil A, but of course everyone and their mom decided to come. <laughs> Eight count, twelve count. Honey mustard. So it is actually the next day. Uh, you guys saw last night I went to my boy Matt's house. Uh, we ended up just playing Call of Duty till like midnight and then I just went home and passed out. It's currently 10 in the morning. I just left the gym and I'm currently headed to Plato's Closet. Now if you guys saw in yesterday's video, the selling sessions, um, they end up didn't taking any of the unknown pieces. Now all those unknown pieces, again, we paid a dollar for and they're brand new with the tags. Can I post them online and sell them for a lot more? Of course, but I have so much stuff. I'm really just trying to bulk stuff. Um, you guys know all these clothes are honestly stressing me out. So what I'm doing is I'm going to Plato's Closet. I just called them really close with the manager. I said, yo, I got about 40, 45 brand new attack shirts. Uh, can you give me about $3.50 per shirt? She said, come on in, we'll see what we can do. So uh, even if I get $3 per shirt, that's what I was originally wanting to sell uh, to the sneaker store because I'm tripling my money and it's just getting it gone. Uh, you guys saw the good amount of money from that was from my friend that bought uh, $600 worth. You know, I made over $500 with that transaction. So I'm already good with the unknown stuff. I just kind of want to get it gone. It's sitting, taking up space, and I really want to clear it out. So we're going to head to Plato's Closet and uh, sell them those shirts. I'll show you guys if we find anything good. Last time we were there, we ended up finding the Jordans as well as the Kobe's, and we sold both of those for $200 each. So that was an amazing deal. We only paid $85 for the pair. So uh, let's hope we find something good at Plato's Closet. Let's get it, guys. All right, we just made it to Plato's. This is the full bag of unknown stuff. Again, all brand new with tags. And I'm also gonna ask them about jerseys. Uh, if I can get like $5 of jerseys, I'll go through and pick out like the ones that I just want for five. Uh, but that whole entire bag is filled with jerseys. They didn't get any of them yesterday. Not many shoes over here, some KDs, but they do have some shoes up there. They have some Jordan 10s, and it almost looks like some Dunks too, so I'm gonna look at those. Some black and blue ones. 
47 items, 144. Good intense. Plato's Closet Sneaker Finds. These are going for the personal collection. Nike SB. And then a pair of Kobe's. So I came to a different Plato's Closet. We have this Jordan hoodie. I've never seen it before. I don't know if it's New Age or an older one. If I had to guess, maybe it's a New Age one since they're doing like all their reprint Jordan stuff. It's 20 bucks, so I'll try to look it up. But as I was sitting here, I just kind of look and does that say Vetmonts? Well, there's no tags on it. Oh, wait, there's a tag right here. I don't know what this is. Well, that definitely worked out. We ended up getting $145 for all the unknown stuff. Then I ended up spending $85 on the two pairs of shoes. We got the Jordan 10s as well as the Nike Dunks, which I don't even know if I showed you guys on camera, the blue and black ones. I'll show you guys once I get home. Uh, but hey, you know, that was perfect. We have that full trash bag gone. Uh, I actually was gonna sell it to the guys at the sneaker store for 120, so I even got $25 more than I wanted. So I'm happy with it, uh, you know, that it's a lot of stress, you know. I'm not trying to hit home runs, but I'm glad that, you know, a full trash bag of clothes is gone. So now let's uh, head back home. I'm gonna probably stop at one thrift store on the way just to see if we find anything. If not, let's uh, head home because I have a lot of organizing to do. You guys will see my house is an absolute mess. Uh, I'm currently putting stuff in piles, stuff to list, stuff to re-donate, and then stuff to like, uh, you know, just try to bulk sell to people. So let's uh, head back to Miami and figure it out. The following day. Well, I'm currently pulling up to Plato's Closet. I'm gonna try to finish this video. It's been, I've been filming this Plato's Closet video for like three weeks now. Uh, it's just been bits and pieces. Every time I go, I'll film a little bit, show you guys what I find and what I don't. Uh, but today I'm gonna do a selling session. This morning I did find a bunch of Polo Ralph Lauren pocket shirts. We paid a dollar each, and usually they pay about three to four dollars at Plato's Closet. So we're gonna bring in that. Plus I have about maybe 30 t-shirts and maybe about 10 pairs of sneakers. So uh, I'm just trying to clear out some space. I'm not really trying to really make profit or anything, uh, even though I am gonna be in profit because, you know, like I said, a dollar turned into three, I'm tripling my money. So let's go to Playboy's Closet, let's see if they, anything good is sitting on shelves. Let's try to sell them some stuff, let's get it. These Miami Marlin shorts are crazy. $16 says 2XL though. If that was like a medium or large, I would definitely cop for personal. Let's see if we find anything good today. Fifty bucks. So they ended up taking sixteen items for fifty dollars cash. So basically three dollars an item. Um, and we sold all. I think maybe they left like three of the Polo Ralph Lauren stuff. But either way, you know, quick fifty bucks. Now I'm gonna get some lunch, and uh, let's go check on Captain. <laughs> 